Shalom, Shalom, Assalamu alaikum to the family. This is the Elder out of New Orleans coming to you with another informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. But family, this video is going to be about the founder of Black Wall Street, O.W. Gurley. We talk about Malcolm, we talk about Martin Luther King, we talk about uh, a lot of our icons, males and females, but this is a brother that deserves a lot of credit for creating Black Wall Street, one of the greatest accomplishments of modern, of, of melanated black people in America, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A lot of people don't even talk about O.W. Gurley, a millionaire from Arkansas. We're going to play this little clip, and I'm going to come back with my commentary. And I'll probably be doing commentary along with this video. Peace and love. Be with you in a minute, family. as well as we know the other icons mentioned. So we present to you one of those people, Mr. O.W. Gurley. O.W. Gurley. Atoa W. Gurley, a.k.a. O.W., was a turn of the 20th century black educator, entrepreneur, and landowner who was born to former enslaved Africans. 1889, after resigning from a position held with the Global Cleveland Presidential Administration, O.W. moved from his home state of Arkansas to Perry, Oklahoma, in order to participate in the Oklahoma land grab of 1889. We actually touched on Mr. O.W. Gurley, and I'll... See, that... A lot of historians never talk about O.W. Gurley, and he had a partner. It's coming up in the video, but we're going to continue, family, with this uh, introduction of O.W. Gurley. Video, how wealthy was Black Wall Street? We will be doing a series on the people who established Black Wall Street throughout the country. Hmm. Our philosophy is, if they did it then, we can do it now. That's right. For they indeed laid the groundwork. And you heard what the brother just said. If they did it in 1921, we definitely can do it now, family. We can do anything we need. We must separate from our oppressors and start creating our own inventions, our own supermarkets, and everything else. Be with you in a minute, family. So, we will be highlighting some of the players who established Black Wall Street throughout the nation. And in particular, the most popular ones in Oklahoma, and we will touch on the ones in North Carolina as well. Mr. Gurley, with his wife Emma, relocated to Tulsa to seize economic opportunities resulting from the city's multiracial population boom. Once there, O.W. purchased a 40-acre tract of undeveloped land where he built a grocery store and on a dirt road that ran just north of the train tracks which traveled through the city. So you see, the 40 acres where Black Wall Street was established was purchased by this great entrepreneur, Mr. O. Did you take them? Early. Nah, not yet. Uh. Were you recently injured in a car accident? Look at this check for $160,000. If you're looking to get money, you're... Mr. Gurley later forged a partnership with fellow black businessman 
John the Baptist Stratford, also known as J.B., with whom he shared a general distrust of white people. Hmm. Both men chose to go by their initials instead of their first names. This action was a form of silent protest because men in the South were customarily addressed by their surnames, while boys were called by their first names. Sadly, black male adults were often addressed by their first names by white men as a form of emasculation. By using their initials, O.W. and J.B. circumvented this practice. O.W. and J.B. occasionally held different opinions. For example, while O.W. subscribed to the philosophies of African-American educator Booker T. Washington, J.B. favored the more radical views of civil rights activist W.E.B. Du Bois, as mentioned in our previous Black Wall Street video. Despite their differences, and that bears repeating again, despite their differences, the two men worked together to develop an all-black district in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which developed... Did you hear that family? They had differences, but they still worked together. We got differences today with all these different religions, all these different philosophies. But well, that's not the main problem. Mr. Charlie and Miss Becky is the main problem. Let's continue with this video. Well, then, to Black Wall Street. These two great entrepreneurs subdivided the land into housing zones, retail lots, alleys, and streets, all of which were exclusively available to other African Americans who were fleeing lynchings and other racial horrors. We cannot overemphasize the fact that these two gentlemen established a booming, thriving economy just a few short lived years after slavery. Hmm. Just consider, after slavery, many black people had absolutely nowhere to go. And it is as if they almost created something out of nothing. And we're going to keep repeating, if they can do it then, we can do it now. We just... So family, that's the story of O.W. Gurley. Him and his partner, J.B., built Black Wall Street right out of slavery. And black people can't... Today, we don't even stick together. That's why we ain't got nothing. That's why we're at the bottom of the totem pole, because we have been programmed, conditioned to hate each other, to have no empathy or love or compassion for each other. That's right, family. But well, we're going to cut this video short. Peace and love. Put up the likes and shares. And stay tuned for the next video or live stream. And the Baba is out.